Good morning. Today we are going to learn some important MCQs of the lesson Resource and Development from CBSE Board Class 10th Social Studies Geography Lesson 1. Multiple choice questions. Question 1. Resources which are surveyed and their quantity and quality have been determined for utilization is known as A. Potential resources B. Stock C. Developed resources D. Reserves Option C is the right answer. Resources which are surveyed and their quantity and quality which have been determined for utilization is known as developed resources. Question 2. Which one of the following soil is ideal for growing cotton? Rigor soil, laterite soil, desert soil, mountainous soil. Option A is the right answer. Rigor soil, which is ideal for growing cotton. Question 3. In which of the following states is overgrazing responsible for land degradation? A. Jharkhand and Orissa. B. Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. C. Punjab and Haryana. D. Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Option B is the right answer. Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan are the states where overgrazing is responsible for land degradation. Question 4. Which one of the following statements is true about the term resources? A. Resources are free gifts of nature. B. They are functions of human activities. C. All those things which are found in nature. D. Things which cannot be used to fulfill our needs. Option B is a right answer. They are the functions of human activities is a true statement about the term resources. Question 5. Which one of the following types of resource is iron ore? A. Renewable B. Biotic C. Flow D. Non-renewable Option D is the right answer. Iron ore resource is non-renewable. Question 6. Under which of the following types of resource that tidal energy can be put? A. Replenishable B. Human-made C. Abiotic D. Non-recyclable Option A is the right answer. Tidal energy resource is replenishable. Question 7. Soil formed by intense leaching is A. Alluvial soil B. Red soil C. Laterite soil D. Desert Option C is the right answer. So, soil formed by intense leaching is laterite soil. Question 8. Fallow land refers to A. Land not under cultivation B. Land with many gullies C. A fertile land D. Cultivable land not cultivated for a season to regain its fertility so option D is the right answer. Fallow land refers to cultivable land not cultivated for a season to regain its fertility. Question 9. Method of growing long strips of grass between the crops refers to A. Counterplowing B. Terrace farming C. Strip cropping D. Crop rotation Option C is the right answer. Strip cropping is a method of growing long strips of grass between the crops. Question 10. Resources which are found in a region but have not been utilized. 
A. Renewable B. Developed C. National D. Potential Option D is the right answer. Resources which are found in a region but have not been utilized are called potential resources. Question 11. Which of the following factors involves the transformation of things into a resource? Physical environment, technology, human beings, institutions. A. 1 and 2 are the right options. B. 2 and 3 are the right options. C. 1 and 4 are the right options. D. All of the above. So answer for this is all of the above. The factors which involve the transformation of things into a resource are physical environment, technology, human beings and institutions. Question 12. Renewable resources are those A. Which cannot be renewed B. Which are accessible C. Which are developed D. Which are renewed by physical, chemical or mechanical processes Option D is the right answer. Renewable resources are those which are renewed by physical, chemical or mechanical processes. Question 13. Which one of the following is not a community resource? A. Public parks. B. A library. C. A car. D. A community hall. Option C is the right answer. A car cannot be called a community resource. Question 14. Territorial waters of India extends to A. 10 nautical miles B. 15 nautical miles C. 12 nautical miles D. 1900 kilometers Option C is the right answer. Territorial waters of India extends to 12 nautical miles. Question 15. Find out which one of the following is a stock. A. Biofuels B. Coal C. Solar energy D. Hydroelectricity Option A is the right answer. Biofuels is a stock. Question 16. The first International Earth Summit was held in A. Geneva B. New York C. Japan D. Rio de Janeiro Option D is the right answer. The first International Earth Summit was held in Rio de Janeiro. Question 17. There is enough for everybody's need but not for anybody's greed. Who said this? A. Jawaharlal Nehru B. Atal Bihari Vajpayee C. M. K. Gandhi D. Sundar Lai Baguna Option C is the right answer. M. K. Gandhi said there is enough for everybody's need but not for anybody's greed. Question 18. The area brought under cultivation in a year is called A. Fallow land B. Cultivable land C. Net zone area D. Gross zone area Option C is the right answer. So the area brought under cultivation in a year is called Net zone area. Question 19. I am the most widespread soil covering the northern plains and eastern coastal plains. Who am I? A. Black soil. B. Forest soil. C. Red soil. D. Alluvial soil. The right option is alluvial soil. Alluvial soil is the most widespread soil covering the northern plains and eastern coastal plains. 
Question 20. Resources which are non-renewable but can be recycled are called A. Renewable resources B. Non-renewable resources C. Recyclable resources D. Biotic resources Option C is the right answer. So, resources which are non-renewable but can be recycled are called recyclable resources. Question 21. The most widespread relief feature of India is A. Mountains B. Forests C. Plains D. Plateaus Option C is the right answer. Planes are the most widespread relief feature of India. Question 22. The current net zone area of India in 2002-2003 is A. 45% B. 43.4% C. 50% D. 48% Option B is the right answer. The current net zone area of India in 2002-2003 is 43.4%. Question 23. The state having maximum net zone area in India is A. Jammu and Kashmir B. Uttar Pradesh C. Tamil Nadu D. Punjab Option D is the right answer. Punjab is having maximum net zone area in India. Question 24. Land left without cultivation for one or less than one agricultural year is called A. Culturable wasteland B. Current fallow land C. Wasteland D. None of the above Option B is the right answer. Land left without cultivation for one or less than one agriculture year is called current fallow land. Question 25. The present percent of area under forest is in 2002-2003 A. 18% B. 22.57% C. 19% D. 11% Option B is the right answer. The present percent of area under forest in 2002-2003 is 22.57%. Question 26. The factor responsible for maximum land degradation is A. Human activities B. Wind C. Salinity D. Soil erosion Option A is the right answer. The factor which is responsible for maximum land degradation is human activities. Question 27. Which agent is responsible for maximum land degradation? A. Wind B. Water C. Glaciers D. Overgrazing Option B is the right answer. Water is responsible for maximum land degradation. Question 28. Soil is formed by the process of denudation B. Gradation C. Weathering D. Erosion Option C is the right answer. Soil is formed by the process of weathering. Question 29. Supply a technical term for dead and decomposed material found on the top soil. A. Bedrock B. Fossils C. Humidity D. Humus. Option D is the right answer. Dead and decomposed material found on the top of the soil is called humus. 
Question 30. The old alluvial soil is known as A. Bunger B. Babar C. Kadar D. Rigor Option A is the right answer. The old alluvial soil is known as Bunger. Question 31. Which of the following statements is true for black soil? It has larger proportion of the clay. It can retain moisture for a long time. It develops cracks during summer which helps in aeration. Cotton grows best in this soil. A. 1 and 2 B. 3 and 4 C. 1 and 4 D. All of the above D is the right answer. So, for the black soil, it has larger proportion of clay. It can retain moisture for a long time. It develops cracks during summer which helps in aeration and cotton grows best in the soil. Question 32. Red color of soil is due to A. It is rich in humus. B. It is rich in iron compounds. C. It is derived from volcanic origin. D. It is rich in potash. Option B is the right answer. Red color of soil is due to its rich richness in iron compounds. Question 33. The denudation of soil cover and washing down of soil by various agents are known as A. Weathering B. Gradation C. Soil erosion D. Soil conservation Option C is the right answer. The denudation of soil cover and washing down of soil by various agents are known as soil erosion. Question 34. The land consisting of many gullies and ravines are called A. Gully erosion B. Bedrock C. V-shaped valleys D. Badland Option D is the right answer. The land consisting of many gullies and ravines are called bad land. Question 35. Terrace cultivation can be used to control soil erosion in A. Desert regions B. Hill slopes C. Valleys D. Plains Option B is the right answer. Terrace cultivation can be used to control soil erosion in hill slopes. Question 36. Strip cropping refers to A. Growing of crops in long strips B. Growing of trees in long rows C. Growing of strips of grass in between the crops D. Plowing along the counter lines Option C is the right answer. Strict cropping refers to growing of strips of grass in between the crops. Question 37. Erosion of top soil when water flows as a sheet over large areas down the slope is called A. Gully erosion B. Badlands C. Soil erosion D. Sheet erosion Option D is the right answer. Erosion of topsoil when water flows as sheet over large areas down the slope is called sheet erosion. Question 38. Which one of the following statements is correct as regards to international resources? A. Resources which are regulated by international institutions. B. Resources which lie beyond the territorial waters. C. Resources which are found along the international frontier. D. Resources which are not yet developed. 
Option A is the right answer. Resources which are regulated by international institution is the correct statement in regard to international resources. Question 39. Which one of the following methods is ideal for controlling land degradation in coastal areas and in deserts? A. Strip cropping B. Counterplowing C. Planting of shelter belts D. Plugging of gullies Option C is the right answer. Planting of shelter belt is the right method for controlling land degradation in coastal areas and in deserts. Question 40. Which type of soil is suitable for growth of cashew nut? A. Alluvial soil B. Black soil C. Red soil D. Red laterite soil Option D is the right answer. Red laterite soil is most suitable for growth of cashew nuts. Question 41. Arid soils are less fertile as it lacks humus and moisture. It has high salt content. It is sandy in nature. It is rich in iron. So option A is 1 and 2. Option B is 2 and 3. Option C is 3 and 4. Option D is 1 and 3. Option A is the right answer. Arid soils are less fertile as it lacks humus and moisture and also it has high salt content. Question 42. Plowing along the counter lines can be A. Accelerate the flow of water B. Decelerate the flow of water C. Accelerate the force of winds D. Decelerate the force of winds Option B is the right answer. Plowing along the counter lines can decelerate the flow of water. Question 43. Bad lands or ravines are found in A. Chenna Basin B. Chambal Basin C. Ganga Basin D. Godavari Basin Option B is the right answer. Bad lands or ravines are found in Chambal Basin.